to support the Osteogenesis Imperfecta Foundation Ghana in giving treatments to persons living with a condition in the country. Who is the perfect girl? Oh, who is the perfect girl? Oh, I'm the perfect girl. I'm the perfect girl. Who say that? Hello, Mama Rebecca. Please, I want to meet you. Please help OIF Ghana to help my brothers and sisters who have my condition. Thank you. On Sunday, May 19, 2019, TV3 aired the inspiring story of seven-year-old Ayeyi Yadombwache, who despite living with osteogenesis imperfecta, had a positive outlook in life. Her story went viral and inspired many the world over. Two weeks after the story aired, it caught the attention of Ghana's first lady, Rebecca Ekufado, who invited Ayeyi over to her office for a discussion on her condition. Oh, so you live there, but yes, yes, the man. Man. Ayei and her family were met on arrival by the Minister of Gender, Children and Social Protection, Cynthia Morrison and her deputy. There's the official office of the first lady. And you want to see her, let's go and see them. You see my angel Ayei? Yeah. Ayei, this is the first lady. At long last, Ayei is here. How are you? Then, the moment Ayeyi had been waiting for arrived. Ghana's first lady, Rebecca Kufado, was excited to finally meet Ayeyi. I found, I found Ayeyi on the, on the video very, very um, upbeat and very lively and uh, uh, articulate. And, um, you know, I was very impressed with her. I must say I was touched when towards the end I heard, oh, she'd like to meet the first lady. And... Um, I said, yes, for sure, we must meet. And uh, so here we are today. And um, I'm here to be a friend to her. First of all, Grandma, like she called me, and, uh, and also be a friend and to do whatever it is that um, I can do to, to help. Awesome, Papa, my say, Papa, my Say yes to your door. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm pa. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Make us a way, not a room, so yeah. It's joy on me, oh yeah, I'm pa. Oh yeah. Ayeyi's mother, Justina Yadombwachi, explained Ayeyi's condition to the first lady. The bones are brittle and can break easily. She can cough and break a bone. She can turn and break. She, I mean, any part of her body that has bones can break. Um, it's, it's been a very tiring journey, especially looking at this side of the continent where little knowledge about this condition is known. We had to do a lot of trial and errors, especially at, at um, the first three years. The arms have not been worked on, so that's how come it's curved like that. That was how the legs too used to be, yes, and it was worked. 
Osteogenesis imperfecta, also known as brittle bone disease, is a group of genetic disorders that mainly affects the bones. It affects 1 in 15,000 people. In Ghana, little is known about the disease as there's no treatment center. Persons living with the condition usually buy medication from the United States of America and the United Kingdom, which costs over 1,000 cities. First Lady Rebecca Kufado pledged to support Ayeyi and the Osteogenesis Imperfecta Foundation Ghana. But we'll try and I'll do something, a little we can. I'll make sure I do my best. Ayeyi, I'll make sure I do my best, okay? All right. So you brought up an amazing, wonderful daughter. Mm -hmm. And I know that God did not make a mistake by giving her to you. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you have so much compassion and love for her, God is going to bless you. Mm -hmm. You will have, nice mama. I, mama. Mm -hmm. you have to come back yes. and visit me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I look forward to seeing you again. Be a good girl, listen to mommy and daddy, um, listen to what they say, so you don't hurt yourself. Okay? Take care and God bless you. Ayeyi's family were grateful to the First Lady for the gesture. She is meant to go very far to impact lives, especially people who are just like her. If you are a, a mother who uh, happened to have a child with a condition, don't give up and i still maintain that we don't ever give up it's never been easy but at least we have seen that our efforts of raising a child with brittle bone has not been in vain thank you ghana thank you for the support aye is hopeful her story will continue to inspire children living with special needs in ghana thank you very much thank you for all the support and thank you so much. Poshigabo, TV3 News, Accra.